let's talk about the history of this building. What can you tell me about the history of the building? Well, this used to be the Mushroom Museum. It was here for about 29 years. And before that, it was, a, I think it was an ice cream place. And the, you know, not that it's a really old, old building, but the, this was a place that a lot of people came and it was their favorite place. You know, they came to the museum, they got their favorite mushrooms. And so we have a lot of energy in the building. Yes, I mean, even after we closed for like three years, people would still be coming. Well, they still, they come, still come now, now and yeah. they're looking for the mushroom museum. And, Did you guys hear uh, that? I think that might have been the speakers. Was that right? Might have been the speakers. Okay. Yeah, so for like the last three, when we first opened, like three years, people would come and they'd be really upset that the Mushroom Museum wasn't here. So there's a lot of attachments to this. This was a, a favorite place to go around the holidays. And, um, and I understand from talking to a lot of people when I had this activity that Brandywine Battlefield is right up the road. And from what I understand from a lot of historians, they tell me that not only did battles happen up at Brandywine, but they happened on all these different fields all the way up from here up to okay. Oxford, PA. That's and, interesting. Um, so I, you know, I, I kind of feel that that might even be tied to it. I also noticed that you have a funeral home right across the street here. Yeah, that, that's pretty new. Oh, but there's okay. a, the last like two years. Two years. Right. Used to be a Dairy Queen. But right up from the funeral home by the fire company is the cemetery. Do we know when this building was built? Um, I'm guessing probably around. I'm going to say around 40 years ago. And do we know? Is there any type of um, tragedies or, or anything negative that has happened in this well, area possibly or I was told there have been a couple really bad accidents where people have passed and were killed right outside in this area there's always bad accidents and I was told by a few people in the past there were a couple really bad accidents and I don't know if that has anything to do with it I, I do know could that possibly the person who is the manager of the mushroom museum um, that was her career, that was her life, and she was here like I am working the store for 29 years, and when she retired, they closed the Mushroom Museum, and uh, she would come in and watch our progress, as she was a really sweet lady, and as she came in and watched what we were doing, she was thrilled. She'd be here once a week getting chocolate or something, and then right after we opened, um, she passed. Hmm. And I kind of feel her presence here a lot. I did in the very beginning, and every once in a while, I'll, I'll feel like she might be here. Okay. So we definitely you've, you've seen an apparition of what appeared to be a monk. Also, a younger girl. Yes. Um, you sense possibly the presence of the previous owner. Well, the manager who. Or the manager. This was her life. Um, any other type of, uh, I guess. Uh, can you relate any other feelings or anything to to a, to a man, to a woman, or or are they like the three that you've basically have felt in the building? I kind of get the sense of a more male energy upstairs. I don't know how to okay. explain that. Um, there was one time here I was closing up. I was here on my own closing up one night, and I smelled perfume. I'd never smelled perfume before. It was very strong. And I just stopped for a minute, and our chiropractor was in the back, and I guess he was close, getting ready to go home for the night. And he came up to say goodnight to me, and the smell had gone away when he came up front. And then he left, closed the door behind him. And then all of a sudden, the smell came back again, which was, I thought, kind of odd. Hmm. Um, I think down here, I feel like it's more um, playful energy. Okay. Um, I will say that uh, when I first got here, I, I took a walk around the building, and um, I went to the upstairs, and I definitely felt a very heavy energy upstairs, um, kind of uncomfortable. And uh, coming down the stairs, I went to close the uh, door that goes upstairs, and it basically felt like it was pulled out of my hand and pulled shut kind of startled me a little bit and uh, I guess when I told uh, Karen here about this uh, she you said that that's happened before well just the other day uh, I had gone upstairs to sage because when I came in after Christmas vacation there was a terrible odor in the back room and I just hmm. felt that I needed 
Yeah. Now. So we're, we're talking about a lot of things that have and happened here just in the past couple of weeks. I yeah. went upstairs and I actually started talking, saying things. Not mean, but just saying right. things like, you know. I totally understand. You know, just, or just, just talking, trying to just say, what are you doing still here? You need to leave mm -hmm. the whole thing. And I went around and I, I was friendly about it and saging. When I came down to the stairs, I turned the light up behind me so it was dark. And I went to open the door. Now, I know you say that the door sticks, but the knob wouldn't turn in my hand at all. And there's no lock on the knob. No it lock. just it wouldn't turn. And I almost panicked. I almost started to knock on the door. And then all of a sudden, the knob turned. And I, I came downstairs. Later on that afternoon, a whole bunch of things started to kind of mess up. I was on here trying to make labels on the computer. The program kept screwing up. All these weird things kept happening. There's a few other things I can't remember now, but we just kind of thought how odd that I'd been up there in sensing it. You reminded me of something I had uh, probably about a year ago when I was uh, upstairs. I, I had very similar happen. I actually, you, when you're coming down the stairs, you flip the light off at the top of the stairs, and as I was walking down the stairs, I started to feel very uncomfortable. And as I got down to the very bottom, the light that's right by the top of the stairs, you'll see me go up, blew out, and I couldn't open the door, and I got a little bit freaked because I really felt like something was behind me, and I, and I couldn't open the door. I mean, and I, and I, and I, uh, I didn't want to go back upstairs, you know, and I, I actually rammed into the door and it finally opened, but it was not like, there's no lock on it, like Karen said, and I couldn't open it. And it was really coincidental, maybe, but when I came down the stairs, the light blew out right by the bottom of the stairs, and I couldn't open the door. It actually exploded? It or, or it popped. It popped. Wow. Okay. And that really, that really freaked me out. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> um, now, besides yourselves, who else has experienced these things in the building? Well, all of our children. Okay, all of your children. And all right. chiropractor who has an office chiropractor. on the first floor here in the back. He's commented a couple times. How about customers? Have customers ever experienced anything? I had anything? one customer come in that was, um, he was a, a healer, and he was psychic. And he went to, we had something happen upstairs with the, uh, the heater switch broke. And I didn't know he was psychic. I didn't know he, you know, he's sensitive, and he was up there, and um, so you, you didn't know anything about his right. abilities or anything at that and point. As he came down the stairs, he said, um, "You have a lot of people up there." I said, "What do you mean?" He said, "Well, he said he senses a, a young girl and a father." He said, and uh, he was sharing his his feeling was that. Um, they were in an accident, and I have nothing to back this up, but he just said he felt there was an accident in front with the father and daughter, and they were both killed in front of the store. And he said he felt their presence. That could explain a lot. And he said that he thought that what happened is they came into the, into this place, and this is where they're staying. And um, and I didn't I didn't say anything to him about that. He, he said he felt their presence. Hmm. What would you like to see from us? Well, it would be good to get some physical documentation. We're going to try to do that. I mean, other than, I mean, we have the pictures I took and I can't find them at the house. And other than our word of mouth, it's... Right. Know, be, be nice, nice totally to understand. Has some, some proof or evidence of, of something. Maybe help whoever's here to leave. Maybe they don't know and that's they, the they can leave. That's the other thing, too. And it's kind of, you know, it's hard when, like, the girls don't go up there anymore, so if a fuse blows or something, I go up there. <laughs> It's like send mom or send dad up because no one wants to go upstairs. It's not that they're threatening, but um, every once in a while, you know, when they, I mean, that foul smell, there's no reason that I can tell that you feel uncomfortable. Oh, yeah. and I, I, could, I could sense because the uncomfortable yeah. it feeling. It always comes down around my children, and especially when I'm not okay. back there with them. But I think the thing that was frightening for me was when I was in the bathroom by myself and the lights were out and the door was like pounded. Uh, I thought somebody broke in here, and I was like, I was a little frightened. I was afraid to go out, but I was also, I thought it was the family that coming back like they forgot something. So I rushed out, and then after it all happened, I had I had thought, you know, oh my God, what if that was somebody? I mean, you know, somebody right. in the store. You know, I'm rushing out of the bathroom, but it was that loud. It was like somebody was trying to knock, knock hit the door in. That's got to be startling, and I, I totally understand that. Yes. Um, well. I didn't state this at the beginning, but <clears throat> today is January 2nd, 2012, uh, and this is our initial evening here in the uh, food store here. 
So we're not fully equipped tonight to our full capacity with our uh, with our members of our group or equipment, but we're going to do some basic preliminary work this evening here, uh, see if we can get, capture anything, and uh, we're going to take it from there, and we're going to see see we're what else we can do. Here. But um, thank you very much for having us here. Thank you. And. Uh, we're going to do our best to find out what's going on here, Great. and uh, I'm sure we, you know. I think everybody wants to know. Yeah. So, all right. So, stay tuned, and uh, there's going to be more from this building here, and we got. We'll keep you guys posted. Thank you very much.